Here, we see a multi-tenanted building. It is occupied by three companies, Company A, Company B and Company C. In addition to doors belonging to each of the companies, there are some common doors. We see people from each of the three companies using common doors and doors belonging to their respective companies. The building landlord must have software permissions that enable them to administer all doors on the system. They must be able to generate reports and assign access permissions for all people and all doors. Each of the companies need software permissions for them to be able to create reports only on their employees and add and revoke access permissions, but only on the common doors and those of their company. This is a typical landlord-tenant scenario. In order to set up a Paxton 10 system for this scenario, devices should be grouped accordingly. Here, we see our four groups being created. Place the relevant devices into each group. People should be grouped in a similar way. In fact, all elements of the software can be grouped like this. We add a building permission for the landlord people group. It allows access to all devices on the system. More information about this is included in the building permissions video. We add a building permission for the Company A people group. It allows access to all Company A and common doors. Building permissions are created for Company B and Company C in the same way. We add a software permission for any individuals administering the system on behalf of the landlord. They have rights to do anything in the software. More information can be found in the software permissions video. We add a software permission for any individuals administering the system on behalf of Company A. They only have full access to the various software elements in the Company A groups. Read only and events permissions are added for common doors, meaning that they can grant people access to these and report on them, but they cannot make any changes. Software permissions are created for Company B and Company C in the same way. That's it. To show what we've set up, let's log in as a Company A administrator. We can see only the elements that we should have visibility of. I can create event reports, but only on Company A people. I can create video reports, but only with Company A cameras and common cameras. I can see people records only of those from Company A. I can add new people, but only give them permission to the doors I have access to. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, have a look at some of our other videos.